Welcome to day five here at the Betfred World Snooker Championships. And it's worth reminding ourselves, this is the bad boy that all these world-class players are after. And by the end of tonight, there would be only two spaces left in the second round at the championships. Things are really moving on at a pace. But before we discuss what's happened on day five, time to wrap up a match from night four. Mark Allen trailed 3-1 to Ryan Day in the early stages and then reeled off nine frames in succession for a 10-3 victory. Fantastic stuff from the pistol who remember beat Ronnie O'Sullivan en route to the semi-finals six years ago so Mark Allen is clearly in the mood here's what he had to say to me after the match you feel you've got a point to prove before the end of a, a long campaign uh, not really uh, the only one that puts pressure on me is me so I, I'm not worried about what people think about me losing matches here and there and you know, even when I win tournaments, I'm not overly bothered what people think. I know I, I put the work in on the practice table and whatever I get out of it, you know, that's what I deserve. It's nice actually today to get a little bit of luck along the way because I've, lo I've lost so many matches here in the last few years where I feel like I haven't got the run of the ball at all and it's cost me. You know, it does cost you against the top players because there's so little in it. There's a fine, fine margin when you're playing the top players and you do need a bit of luck. And you know, I had that today with a few bits of uh, nice little cannons and stuff that maybe I didn't mean and but I took full advantage of it and if I can keep doing that then I'm going to be a match for anyone. Well what a match that will be between Mark Allen and Barry Hawkins. Now late last night whilst the pistol was in such a good mood we decided to try him out on the Betfred World Micro Snooker Championship. He took to the tiny table like a duck to water as too did the 10 time women's world champion Rianne Evans who popped in this morning. Rianne of course unable to defend a world title this time but hit the headlines after pushing Ken Doherty so close 10 8 in the first round of qualifiers at Ponds Forge. Here's how they both got on. This is called the Micro World Championship. It's as many as you can pot in a minute. We couldn't find snooker balls, so we have to make do with pool balls. Doesn't matter if the black goes in early on, not a problem. But the key with this is if you go in off with the white, the break's over. Antrim's Mark Allen, 3 2 1, you're live. Sensational break off there by the pistol. Yeah, push shots are all right. Smash them in, fella. He's going to clear the table here. <laughs> this is sensational. Double ranking event winner in China, and he's turning it on in style here. Nine on the spin against Ryan Day. <laughs> Having to change shoes here with the tournament director, Mike Ganley. Still going. Got about 30 seconds to go here. Yeah, someone has cleared them within a minute. Come on, come on. Oh, look at the footwork in such a tight space as well. This is class. <laughs> okay, you've got about 10 seconds to go. Come on, you can clear these. Oh, yes. Oh, one more, one more. Yeah, that was in. That was in. Good stuff. Mark Allen has nailed it in a minute. Rianne Evans, multiple ladies world champion. As many balls as you can in a minute. If you go in off the breaks over. Rianne Evans, 3-2-1. You're live. Oh, superb break. Oh, this is phenomenal. This could be a record. Just about 10 seconds. She's absolutely smashing this. Hasn't even taken her handbag off. Here we go. Oh, she's gone in off. Unbelievable. So Mark Allen going straight to the top of our leaderboard. Ding Jun Wee still in second place. Rianne Evans slotting home in third. And then poor old Mike Ganley still bringing up the rear. The same Mike Ganley, who of course famously lent Ronnie O'Sullivan a new pair of shoes yesterday in the first instalment of his match against Craig Stedman. That was 7-2 to the Rocket, so he had a commanding lead when he resumed this morning and made fairly short work of the match in the end, 10 frames to three. But after the match, Ronnie was very generous about Craig Stedman. He said the world number 81 certainly hadn't frozen on the big stage and there'd be many more matches to come for him. Ronnie, looked as though there were some nice words from you for Craig Stedman. Massive occasion for him to make his debut. And although he lost fairly heavily, he didn't look as though he crumbled under the pressure. No, I think he played really well. You know, I think he put, put up a good performance. And, um, you know, it's not easy to go out there and play in a crucible. But, you know, I think he'd done himself justice. And, um, you know, he'll be um, looking forward to getting back here again. 
And I guess it was quite nice for you to talk to him because, you know, way back when in 93, you, you probably had nerves when you came here for the first time. Yeah, and I still have, but they're different type of nerves, you know, you just kind of, um, you learn to kind of control them a bit more and realise that, you know, um, it's a long time being here for 17 days if, if you're going to win it. So you learn to sort of pace yourself in a way and not get too, too excited, really. So the Rockets fans will be delighted that he's safely through into the second round, where he'll face, when the match starts on Saturday night, Matthew Stevens. Stevens beating one of his best mates, Mark Williams, in the all-Welsh clash. Remember, those two met in the final of the World Championship way back when in the year 2000, which turned out to be the first of Mark Williams' two world titles. On that occasion, he turned round a massive deficit to Matthew Stevens. It wasn't to be the same this time round. Stevens started today 7-2 up and rounded out the match without conceding a further frame and he was understandably delighted when I caught up with him in the post-match press conference. How difficult is it to play someone that, that you know so well? You're obviously great mates. I mean at times it looked like you could be in a, a local pub and there you were vying for the second round of the World Championship but is it difficult to put those personal friendships aside? Yeah you have to you know we're professionals we've played you know a number of times over the years but you know both of us weren't happy when we had the draw but you know you've got to get on with it you know the, the amazing part about it was we haven't played since the World Championship final 15 years ago. Which You're joking in no tournament? In, no, in in the, obviously in the Crucible and you know like you know with the records we've both been deep you know in the tournament and to avoid each other for that many years is quite remarkable really. Well the Crucible fans are never shy to get a picture with some of the world's best snooker players but how good are they at recognising the faces when two become one? Okay, so here we go. Who have we got there? Uh, Judge Trump. And? Oh, and? These are all people who are in the tournament or have just been knocked out. In your case, the face you're missing has made it through to the second round. And Matt Selt. Graham Dot. Yeah, good guess. Okay. okay. Neil Robertson face. Yeah. And I'm not sure. I don't know who that just is. Played. Neil Robertson and... He just played this morning. Who played this morning? I've never seen again this morning. Who played this morning? Uh, Neil Robertson and yes. Craig Steadman. Yes, good boy, good boy. Craig Steadman. Yes. I've never okay. against them. Steve Maguire and... No, try again, not Maguire. Hey, Selby, Mark, Mark Selby. Yes, on the inside. And... And whose haircut is that? He's just been knocked out by Mark Allen. Who did Mark Allen play? Yes, Ryan Michael Day. Day. Ryan Day. Ryan Day, yeah. And that one. the face. I'm not sure. You know this. You know this. Come on. Ryan Day. Yes. And Mark Selby. Yes, yeah, straight in. Uh, just. <laughs> Ryan Day. Oh, that's Mark Selby. Yes. Yeah. Right, that's Robertson again. Yeah. And, and oh, um, what's his name? It's in there. Bingham, it? Stuart yes. Bingham. Yeah, yes. yeah, Stuart Bingham. Neil Robertson and Stuart Bingham. Yes. Uh, that's Ronnie's face. Yes. And that is... This is hard, this one. Uh, Tony Drago. No. It's not an old Jimmy White, is it? No, no, no. It's All of these are players who are in this year's championship. Oh, right, okay then, okay. Ronnie O'Sullivan and... And it is... The player who almost beat Mark Selby? Uh, Kurt Mathlin. Yes. Just a little bit of fun there and we'll be setting the fans a few other tasks as the championship continues. Now, speaking of faces, there's a look of intensity there for Ding Zhongwei and he'll need it because as we start to think about day six, the second round beckons. Ding Zhongwei, China's sensation, is up against John Higgins, one of the picks of the second round matches. And the other one getting underway tomorrow is Mark Selby, the defending champion, up against Anthony McGill, the giant killer who knocked out Stephen Maguire 10 frames to nine. Two cracking matches, so much still to look forward to here at the Crucible. So we'll see you on day six. Bye-bye for now.